hello everyone welcome back to kalpuruksha classes and uh, today's target is this uh, sslc model question paper 2021-22 from the office of ddpi kolar district kolar all right so one mark questions from the mathematics question paper series is going on you can visit the playlist in that playlist you will get a uh, all these are uh, one mark questions from our uh, different question papers eight one mark questions will be there uh, so those will be handled and already the eight mcqs a uh, series of uh, five question papers are solved and uh, the details of uh, all those question papers uh, is there in the description you can go to the description and you can go to the link there and definitely you can watch these uh, mcqs also and this is a series of one mark question all right then so i have chosen all these questions from this question paper and let us look them one by one so here is the first question i mean after eight mcqs i am getting this uh, ninth question which is one more question eight into one so write the statement of pythagoras theorem all right so this question keeps repeating many times so you know the pythagoras theorem so here is the right triangle so let me name it as pqr and here it is a 90 degree so we are going to get a pr square is equal to pq square plus qr square all right fine so what is the statement in a right triangle in a right triangle square of hypotenuse square of hypotenuse is equal to is equal to sum of squares of sum of squares of other two sides sum of squares of other two sides that's it so this is pythagoras theorem all right moving forward to the 10th question write the discriminant of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero all right so uh, what is the value of this uh, discriminant so everybody knows this discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac so this is the value of discriminant quite a simple question moving forward to the 11th question write the common difference of the arithmetic progression so uh, given ap so what is the given ap so given ap is going to be 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 3 comma minus 5 dot 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 common difference is equal to second term minus first term that is going to be minus 1 minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 is nothing but minus 2 so look at this this is a second term minus a first term so that is minus 2 all right moving forward to the 12th question write the formula to find the sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression whose first term is a and last term is a n so they are saying first term we know first term that is like a a 1 is equal to a and last term is equal to a n so what is the sum of n terms everybody knows it is n by 2 bracket a plus l all right so we have another formula sn is equal to uh, i mean n by 2 bracket that do not, that do not come here because they are mentioning about last term here no so that's why that concept do not come here so which is that sn is equal to n by 2 bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d so this formula is also there but for timing it do not come because they are talking about last term all right so that's why i'm rubbing it off i'm explaining the things to you all right uh, so uh, that's it i mean uh, uh, last term means what uh, last term is n by 2 bracket a plus last term is uh, a n so it is represented with a n also so s n is equal to n by 2 bracket a plus a n all right moving forward to the uh, 13th question write the empirical relationship between the three measures of central tendencies you know what are central tendencies right so central tendencies are mean mode and median mean mode and median so you must be having idea about this all right so uh, what is the relation between them so the relation is three median is equal to three median is equal to mode plus a two mean mode plus two mean so this is the relation moving forward to the 14th question write the formula to find nth term of an arithmetic progression quite a simple question right so a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d that's it where a is first term n is uh, yeah, i mean number of terms and d is common difference and a n is nth term 
quite a simple question then moving forward to the 15th question write the coordinates of origin so what are the coordinates of origin okay coordinates of origin is equal to so that is 0 comma 0 you understand origin right this is y axis this is x axis and here is the origin so the coordinates of this is 0 comma 0 all right moving forward to the 16th question here i could i mean 14th and 15th already we solved now we are looking at the 16th question write the formula to find the area of the shaded region in the given figure here is the given figure so this is the shaded region here it is shaded so this area so area of shaded region so that is like a sector no area of a shaded region is equal to what is the angle there theta then divided by 360 into i mean radius is r so it becomes what a pi r square so area of shaded region is a theta by 360 into pi r square that's it done all right so all these are eight questions are over now and this is just a video of six minutes with explanation i have done all these things so it takes maximum 10 minutes for you to solve all these questions all right so this is a second video and uh, i will uh, shoot another three videos total five question papers is the target and i'll be solving all these one mark questions from those question paper and make it sure that you are uh, visiting the uh, playlist of mcqs also thank you very much uh, have a good day and bye bye